Okay. Um, this is Tory's new lawyer. Let's listen to what he got to say. If you don't know, Tory Lanez is locked up. He was found guilty on all three charges. Uh, one, the first charge is aggravated assault with a semi-automatic weapon. The second is um, negligently discharging a, a, a weapon. And then the third is possession of a weapon. Okay. He could be sentenced up to 22 years if everything is done consecutively, which unless he, you know, he was just acting like a complete idiot, whether in court or, you know, probably up, leading up to court or maybe just in the moment, it's rare that a judge would give consecutive sentence for those uh, those punishments. So it's probably going to be concurrent. The longest one is about 10 to, 10 to 11 years, which means that he should serve below 10 to 11 um, I, from what I hear, his criminal record isn't like crazy, so he shouldn't, and he's not a felon, um, supposedly he shouldn't be serving anything above around 50 to 60% of that time. So if you think about 11 years around five to six is about average, you know, they did go to trial though. It might be seven, but I think everyone expects a five year sentence. What's going to happen is that he's going to get sentenced on uh, the last day, I believe is the 28th of February, but really his attorneys are planning a appeal and, an, and, and hoping to get an appeal here and to try to have a consideration of throwing out that verdict and granting him a new trial. Okay, so if he wins the, this appeal, it wouldn't be to release him well, he might get out of jail, but but it wouldn't be to necessarily um, make him not guilty. He would just get a new trial. So this is what the appeal is for. This is one of his new lawyers, and and I'll um, put him on. Okay, um, I, I'll give my like opinion on what I think is gonna happen. I don't think uh, I unfortunately I'm being very honest. I don't think Tory's gonna get uh, the appeal here. Um, I, I do think he might have grounds on a couple of things. Uh, I do believe that that recording from. Um, Kelsey should have not been allowed to be played. I think that was done egregiously and definitely that was probably the fucking nail in the coffin for Tory Lanez, which obviously hurt him a lot. You know, Kelsey's testimony helped him. It was on the record. It was in open court and they played something that came from a, a, a meeting with the prosecutors that wasn't in open court. And I think they have a, they have a good, they have a good argument to say that should have been suppressed. Um, <clears throat> also, you know, um, I, I don't know if they could do anything about contradicting, like, testimony, though. Like, for example, their own witness that they brought up on the stand, their own witness, basically, unless their own witness talked to them later and be like, yo, I was pressured to say that. I don't know if they have much grounds there. If someone is giving their testimony and their testimony just doesn't make sense, maybe the guy just wasn't a reliable witness. Maybe it was late. Maybe the guy was drunk. Maybe the guy didn't see nothing. Maybe his memory is bad. What he testifies is what he testifies. I don't think necessarily... They could be like, no, well, you know, um, um, they don't have anything where he swore that that's what happened, like with Kelsey. So that kind of hurts him. Also, here's a reason why I don't think it's gonna he's gonna get a uh, uh, a retrial through appeal. I actually feel like the state of California does not want this saga continuing. I think the outcome that was given by the jury is something that's more with their values and to follow through with an appeal only prolongs and complicates things. And in those last two years that, that, that case lasted, it was fucking hell for not only the DA, but of course state and court resources in dealing with such a high profile case like that. You get what I mean? So I think they, unless there's some significant fuck-ups, I don't think they're going to be given an appeal, honestly. You know, I think, obviously, th this is a very important step because after this particular appeal, what's going to happen is that <clears throat> usually he'll get sentenced. They could appeal again to a higher court, but it's going to pretty much matter what type of grounds do they believe, um, what grounds was there, you know, like, I can't, I can't, not that they should have argued it in court, but I can't, I can't think of anything beyond the Kelsey thing. Like, 
you know, to compare it to a case that I kind of like was very interested in because he's like my favorite artist, Vibes Cartel. Um, when he went to jail, like to appeal his case, he's basically saying, well, the majority of the evidence came from my phone. My phone, according to when we got my phone through discovery, it was tampered with. Like people went into it like niggas was opening it, turning it on, doing all type of stuff with it. How do we know that the evidence extracted later on after people was doing all type of stuff unauthorized wasn't doctored and fabricated? That's the grounds. Right. But with this Tory case is like other than trying to like strike certain type of um, audio that were played, what what could they really say? Um, and I don't know if this is and I'm not an attorney. I don't know if they could just tell the judge, hey, listen, we had the driver and the driver was down to testify. And we want a retrial because the driver wants to testify and the driver is an eyewitness and the driver is going to say I didn't do it. And matter of fact, we have we, we have gotten some type of sworn statement from him that he says th this was not a delivery of justice and I saw something different. I don't know if that will count. Right. Because. I think the prosecutor is going to look at it and say, we gave you the chance to have the driver up there. Yeah, I brought him in the last minute. We never talked to him. We said we could we could bring the guy in for testimony, but he's going to be half after the holidays, and we're going to have to talk to him first. And you said, all right, fuck it. We're not, we don't need him. So when you guys said, fuck it, you don't need him, like now you're coming back after you lost the case and say you do? So I don't know. We're going to see. But he has a lot of high-powered attorneys on this. Um I'm not too sure if these guys spec uh, specify in uh, in appellate, you know, um, submissions, but we will see. From what I'm hearing, I don't know if this is the bias, dude. It might be him. Um, I don't think he's a licensed attorney in the state of California, but he could work with the team that is licensed to do what they need to do, right? We will see, man.